Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you all are well. So today I'm actually up north right now and I'm going to be making my way to the York Racecourse car boot. I remember going here when I was a little girl, quite a few times actually, and that it was like really, really big, but um, it's like mid-September now, so I'm not sure if it is going to be really, really big today, but I'm going to be popping around with my dad and we're both just going to walk around and see what sort of bits and bobs there might be there. Lola's also going to be coming as well. I'm really excited to go here because I've not been here since I was like a little girl. <laughs> so it's been a very, very long time. A little bit about me, you guys probably don't care, but I'm going to tell you anyway, is that I'm actually from York. I was born there, I went to school there, and I left at eight years old. So I'm pretty much like a York gal, but just not lived there in a very long time, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty much like going home and it just feels really nice every time I go back to York. So yeah, hopefully I'll have some like Yorkshire look and find some good stuff at the car boot so let's get going all right so i've just got parked and the car boot actually looks pretty big so i'm so excited to just like explore so i've um, got a banana with me because i'm hungry lola's excited to get out the car as well it's been quite a long drive come on lola so i've got my dad for a wee will it have a wee <laughs> So I've got my dad here with me, he's just taking Lola for a wee and I'm going to bring a backpack to put some of my stuff in and my dad told me that it's free to come and walk around but you've got to pay if you have a stall here Yeah, it's, it's on her lead She might have a poo <laughs> Um also, I forgot to say earlier, this car boot is open on a Saturday and at this car boot you can see there's a section there and there's also another section here so it's a pretty big car boot because there's like two different sections. So just really really excited to check it out. Is there a ten o'clock lot? Thanks very much. No problem. Yeah, Thank you. you. Uh, yes, please, if you had, yeah. Oh, 25 minutes yeah. for that. <laughs> it's a lovely one. Oh, thank you. Please. So we've just dropped a few stuff into the car. Like, yeah, that's my boot there. And then that stuff there. So we've just walked through all of that bit and that actually took us quite a long time. So now we're going to go around this bit and see what sort of stuff we get. Hmm. Pound. <laughs> How much did you pay? Five quid. How much do you think you can get? Twenty. Oh. So we're just making our way back to the car now. My dad's like talking to his mate over there. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with a lot of the stuff I got. I feel like this car boot doesn't have as much clothes as the other one. Like there's more like random bits and bobs in this car boot, which is really interesting. So I really enjoy just walking around and just seeing stuff. Ooh, cheers. And just seeing random stuff, you know, because it's different. But yeah, so I'm gonna make my way home now and then I'm gonna do a haul and show you guys what me and my dad got. Stay tuned. And it's haul time. So I'm just gonna run through some of the items that me and my dad got at the car boot in York and share with you guys what we got and how much we paid for our items. This is gonna be quite an interesting haul really because I'm gonna show some of the stuff that my dad got as well. And it's quite interesting because some of the stuff that he gets isn't stuff that I would think of getting myself. And my dad has actually been doing car booting and like bargain hunting, etc., for like 40 odd years. So he's been doing it for a pretty long time. Whereas for me, I've only been doing it for like a couple months or so and maybe this is why I'm so into it because like 
it might be in my blood from my dad, you know? <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys the stuff we got, so let's begin. So to begin with, my first item is this Olympus camera. So, with this, I saw it at the stall, the guy was asking four quid I think? And then I, I like thought about it because I wasn't sure if it was gonna work and you can't really test it out because I didn't have any batteries on me. And then I like went back and I asked him if it worked and he said he wasn't sure if it worked and he was like oh I can do three quid and then my dad came round and my dad was like bartering and then he got it for two quid. So my dad helped me get this camera for two quid. So I thought for two quid you can't really go wrong, if it doesn't work then it doesn't work. But anyway I got home, put in the batteries and... It works. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do a flash then. Oh, there we are. So, yeah. I've bought some film downstairs, so I'm gonna be taking some pictures with this camera at some point and seeing how the pictures turn out. I'm just really excited to like use this and for two quid, I just feel like you can't go wrong and you could literally just like throw it. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna throw it, but I feel like this is something you can just like whack in your bag and um, you're not afraid of it breaking, you know? Cause it just feels quite, sturdy. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this find and I really do want to like branch out rather than just do clothes. So I'm just kind of learning and dipping my toe into like buying maybe electronics and like toys and board games. So... So yeah, I'm not sure if I am going to sell this. I'll probably keep this for myself, but I'll just have to see. But yeah, very happy with this camera. You know like when you open it, you can hear the camera like turn on or the, I don't even know what that sound is. Can you hear it? Oh, <laughs> oh wait, that, that, that little, after you take a photo, I feel like an idiot not knowing like what that is, but it just sounds so cool, look. Yeah. I'm probably gonna like waste my battery now, so I'm gonna stop. But yeah, this is my first item. <laughs> Next off, my dad found this like vintage radio. I actually don't have the radio with me because my dad's up north and I'm in London right now, so he's got the radio at home. But he paid £1.50 for this radio and he said he's popped it in his kitchen and he loves it, it works well. It's his sort of like style, so you can't go wrong with the radio for £1.50. So next off, my dad got this collectible antique 1930s for folding ruler. He paid one pound for it and like I've had a look on eBay and there's some people that have got them on for like 20 quid or more. My dad said that they're a collectible item and that he's sold quite a few of them before so he knows he can definitely sell one. He's also got another one which he's kept for himself and he kind of like put them together and he actually prefers the new one he just got. There's one on here for £27.68, £26.49, £18.44, seven quid, but like 12 pounds postage. So yeah, seems like those rulers can do pretty well. You know, like I would have never thought to get one of those rulers and my dad's just paid a quid for one and like they're worth like over 20 quid. Isn't that just so interesting? Yeah. <laughs> Next off, my dad got this pump or air compressor, whatever it's called. I'm not even really sure. He said it came in a box and it's pretty much like brand new. And it also has a torch and like this other bit on it as well. I don't really know much about this sort of stuff, but he said he paid a fiver for it and it's pretty much brand new and he's really happy with his new pump or air compressor. <laughs> Very kind of him, he actually pumped up my car tires with it as well, made sure it was all in working order. So yeah, I've got some pumped up tires and he's got himself a new air compressor. <laughs> Next off, I got these Karen Millen boots. I paid five pounds for them and they came with a little clutch bag as well. I just thought they looked quite cool. They're not really summer I would wear, but I think they look pretty fashionable. And for five pounds with the bag, I thought I'd buy them. The guy was asking eight pounds at first and then I was like, oh, um, I'm not so sure sort of thing and then he came down to like six and then my dad like bartered and did his magic and then managed to get it for five. I really need to get some more tips from my dad, you know, <laughs> he's just so good at bartering. I feel like I'm too um, soft when I barter sometimes and I'm like, oh, okay. Whereas like with my dad, I suppose he's done it for 40 years so he knows how to barter in it and he's a dealer himself. So I've got to learn some tricks from him really. <laughs> but five pounds for these two. These are actually up north as well, which is why I've only got the pictures of them here. This is actually from my Instagram story when I bought them. So if you guys are keen on my Instagram, feel free to follow me so you can keep up to date with some of the stuff that I buy because I also post some of my items on my Instagram stories as well. So it's 
it's just Gina Brown with a capital I and a zero. On the heels, the only downside is that one side is missing that like golden chain that goes around it. But even without the golden chain bit, they look nice as they are. It's just a shame that both of them don't have it. So I'm just gonna have to list it with a missing golden chain when I do um, eventually put them online. Next off, my dad picked out these like baby pictures here like I don't know he said that he sold a few of them before and we paid 50p each for these pictures they do look pretty cute not really my cup of tea but I thought I'd try them for 50p these are also up north right now as well I'll either try and list them on eBay or maybe try and sell them next time I'm selling at the car boot I don't know maybe I'll put them up on my wall <laughs> I don't know but I don't know for 50p I suppose I just kind of got them because my dad was like yeah you know sometimes when you buy stuff and you're like why did I get that but then you did get it and then you kind of forget why but then you do quite like it but then you're not sure I'm just gonna kind of see what I'm gonna do with them I don't know next off my dad got this like vintage screwdriver thing I'm not sure if people actually use these anymore but I suppose they're like a collectible item maybe he only paid one pound for it and I think it like turns both sides like I said I don't know much about tools and stuff like that he was just kind of like trying to show me how it worked and I was like oh okay but I've like forgotten how it works now one pound you can't go wrong for that and then another tool he got was this hammer he also paid one pound for this hammer as well dads and their tools eh I'm sure you guys can relate to this <laughs> honestly I don't even know what I'm looking at when I look at tools next off I got this Harley Davidson wallet so this was one of the first items I found I saw it on the stall and I kind of like opened it had a little look it feels good it feels genuine and like it's made from real leather which it says here genuine leather right there and I don't know and all the stitching and everything looks really well done I wasn't sure on it but then the woman was like you can have it for 50p so I bought it for 50p I thought it looked pretty nice anyway and like there's a code here so I typed in this code and they sell them brand new online in like America for about $39.99 it's pretty much the same exact wallet it has the same code on it so I do think this is an original Harley Davidson uh, wallet for 50p you can't go wrong with that and it's nice like I like it maybe I'll use it but I think it's a bloke's wallet so I might not use it and I've already got like a pink wallet so <laughs> but yeah 50p for this wallet that ain't bad is it next off I got these like light browny orange Clark's shoes so when I saw them I thought they looked quite like vintage and edgy <laughs> and I tried them on and they fit me and I don't know they just look quite cool and Harry's like they look like some uh, someone in a library would wear and I tried them on and I actually really liked them and I also tried them on with like some fluffy little socks and they actually look really nice with some fluffy little socks as well <laughs> the, with the little um the little, I don't know what it's called, the little flower bit that, with the little lace that goes round. I bought these from a dealer there with some items that my dad got as well and these worked out at about £4 in the deal I'd say. They are actually some that I would wear as well so I might even keep these. Don't know when I'd wear them but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. They kind of look like those um, kicker shoes as well. And then next off my dad got this vintage clock and he's told me that he's given the clock a clean and it's working fine and he thinks that it's made in like the 1940s. If any of you guys know much about clocks then let me know what you think about paying a fiver for that because yeah clocks aren't something I know much about as well. <laughs> and lastly I got these 901 Levi jeans. So I paid quite a bit for these I think. <laughs> I paid £16 for these jeans and this Calvin Klein shirt. These jeans, the lady actually said that she had these since she was like younger and she said that they're from like the late 80s or early 90s and that these were hers. So there's no stains on them at all but because she says she's worn them so much there's a tiny little hole but not even that big of a hole. So just there. But to be fair, it's not like a proper hole. It's just where like the leather has like worn. And I actually really, really like these, which is why I paid quite a bit for them. Maybe you guys are thinking 16 quid all in all isn't that much for Levi's. To be fair, it is a good price. But you know like when you go to a car boot, 
you just don't expect to pay that much for clothes sometimes, you know? So I do think I paid a reasonable amount. It's just because it was at car boot, so I feel like it was on the high side. But they're really lovely jeans. I really like them. They're a really good fit. They're nice and vintage. Um, they're a nice colour as well, like the light blue colour. So I'm really happy with this find, with the Calvin Klein top as well, but I do prefer the jeans to the Calvin Klein top. Let me know what you guys think to the price I paid for this, because it'll just be interesting to share each other's thoughts, and I want to hear what you guys think as well. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much most of the stuff we got. We did get some other stuff as well, but like this is like the main stuff that we got. I hope my videos inspire you to go out and like do some bargain hunting and go to more car boots, because it's just fun, you know, you don't know what you're gonna get and you're just like using stuff again because you don't always need brand new clothes all the time and I want to show you guys that it is fun just going around car boots and charity shops and just like thrifting, looking for secondhand stuff and I just want to inspire you guys to do it as well but thank you for watching my video and I also hope it gives you a little idea of what York Racecourse car boot is like as well it is a really good car boot there, very big another thing I do is I also have a little business with my mum my mum makes upcycled vintage Hmong embroidery bags in Thailand so like the fabric is upcycled from vintage Hmong embroidery from the Thai Hmong tribes so she upcycles vintage clothing as well and makes something new with it so this is her website here if these bags seem like your sort of fit then feel free to give my website a browse and if you've got any questions then feel free to comment below or ping me a message through my Facebook. Thank you again for taking your time to watching my video, give me a like if you liked it and a subscribe if you want to see any more and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you later, bye! I do think I did pay a reasonable is it Karen Millen? Is that how you say it? I think it might be Karen Millen. Next off, I got this Harley Davidson 